All right. It's, this is the same real life superhero sports combat rock and roll intro you saw you saw in the previous you saw in the previous um, video. This is the same one only this time with the theme songs with the theme songs with both theme songs reversed. The more than ever Michael Logan's Impact Wrestling theme and WWE used it for one of their shows too. That will play first and then I'll come out to the current angle theme and vice versa for the nighttime versions too. So with that being said, let me get started right now. <laughs> Sorry, wrong one. superhero on camera webcam webcam version of the 2022 six episode television series knuckles the akenda to see the short part one narration review introduction the link will be in the description box below episode one will play Episode 1 will play in the background while I make my grand entrance on camera, sit down and review the rest of the um review the rest of the um seri review the rest of the series. Yeah. So with that being said, 
let me get started right now. We're old enough to get tricked into helping the very evil and very filthy Dr. Mustache escape. He came to Earth in search of a magic emerald and picked a fight with moi, which went very badly for him, by the way. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah. This is the wrong footage. Why are we yeah, doing this? Yeah, Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles the, um... Eventually, we punched out our differences and teamed up to defeat Robotnik. Knuckles, yeah, Knuckles the, um... Knuckles the Akenda television series. I apologize if I can't remember names and stuff because I only skimmed through the plot for this um, review right here. Well, anyway, um... Anyway, yeah, this television series... This television series is set immediately after the Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. Sonic, as you briefly heard, recaps the events of this. Um, yeah, recaps the events of this television series. Recaps the events of the movie to set you up for the um, television um, series. And both Sonic, Tails, and the wife of James Marsden's character make can make cameos in episodes in episodes one like I said in part one the television series centers around Knuckles taking this guy named Wade Whipple I think that's his name I thought his name was Garrett but his name is Wade Whipple Wade Whipple under his um command under his command under advice from under advice from a vision from the Elder, portrayed by Christopher Lloyd, voiced by Christopher Lloyd, and and he must help him. Oh yeah, he must. Oh yeah, he. Oh yeah, this guy I think was kicked out of his bowling league, and he must help this guy become the bowling champion. Oh yeah, oh, must help this guy. Um, oh yeah, reclaim his honor, reclaim his honor by re-earning the respect of the bowling league, and oh yeah, and winning. The bowling championship, something like that. Yeah. See, like I said in part one, I avoided this series for a while because I heard terrible things about it, despite how awesome it looked. And no, think the worst thing I heard was, I'm here to see Knuckles, and I heard that Knuckles was going to be a non-factor in his own television series. So it was a false advertising thing. When he make it seem like it's going to be all nothing but Knuckles, but it's going to be these human characters we don't care much about. Luckily, when I finally got around to seeing it, that just wasn't the case. That just wasn't the case. That just wasn't the um, case. Knuckles still got plenty of time to shine in this episode. Yes, he still had a lot of annoying human stuff that I just didn't care for, but Knuckles still got the chance to shine. Like I said in part one, episodes one through three, five, and six were the best, with six being the supreme best, number five being the second best, number three, one through three, being the third best, and the supreme worst episode of the series, number four, and number four best, and the supreme worst and weakest is episode four. I'm going to get episode four out the way already. Episode four is the worst because Knuckles only makes a cameo in the beginning and at the end, which is the best parts of best parts of the episodes. It actually took me a while to complete this review because it took me a while to get through this episode because the whole episode is sitting around Wade Whipple confronting some old rival who, who was this biker dude and beating him in, I don't remember what he beat him at, but after beating him he claimed he claimed his, he claimed that guy's jacket, he claimed that guy's jacket and several the items of his as, him, as himself as um himself to prove himself as this um to prove himself as a um warrior the plot i care about the plot i care about is the overall main plot that's way whipple's plot and story the plot i care about is knuckles is knuckles knuckles and wade wade and his family by association being pursued by two corrupt gun operatives. One of them, I think his name is Mason, portrayed by rapper Kid Cutie, Kid Cutie, something like that. And I keep forgetting the actress' name, but I think her name is Willoughby. The female, the Caucasian female um, gun agent. They have these cool, they have these cool gigantic alien men in black style guns. Men in black, um, 
style guns utilize specifically created utilized to hunt down the the talking anthropomorphic animals like Knuckles, Sonic, Sonic and them. They're constantly trying to co capture Knuckles for their corrupt for their corrupt for their um corrupt boss who was simply known as the buyer, who was simply known as the buyer and is a former subordinate and associate of um Dr. Robotnik who wants to claim Knuckles power for himself. That is the most exciting plot. That is the plot I am invested in and I was invested in and for these six episodes. And that's what the first two that's what the first two and parts of the third episode center center that's what the first two episodes, the third episode and the fifth and sixth episodes center around. The first two episodes are Knuckles dealing are Knuckles dealing with Mason, Mason and Willoughby, with Millaby, Mason capturing Capturing, capturing Knuckles in episode one is on a cliffhanger. Then it continues in episode two, where, where Wade somehow rescues Knuckles and hope they have a gigantic fight at a um, I think at a bar, at a bar. In episode three, Knuckles and Wade, they, on the I think on the lookout for another fusion, another fusion of another person, another person committing crimes. They run, they accidentally run, they, they run into Wade's. Family, his mother, his mother is um, his estranged, his estranged mother, and and their estranged and incompetent FBI FBI operative of a um sis, of a um sister of a sister where they get involved in guns plots to capture um Knuckles and befriend Knuckles and reluctantly sort of joined the team Wade also uses time to reconnect reconnect with reconnect um with them like I said this stuff I really didn't care much for but the but Knuckles Knuckles made me care his exchanges his exchanges with the with the two new human characters who now know of his existence made made this episode made this episode tolerable and made this episode tolerable and um bearable so um yeah great episode then you got I mentioned the fourth one. I mentioned I already mentioned how terrible the fourth one was. The beginning, the the intro, the intro, which I forgot to talk about the awesome intro. The intro portrayed by the band, by, I think her name is Patty Smith of Scandal. I know her, I, I don't know if her name is Patty Smith, but I know the band's name is Scandal. I've been listening to that song day in and day out, the Warrior song, and I always listen to it before I go out on patrol, before I go out on on on. Patrol or do something risky or um, dangerous. That's one of the most inspirational, awesome songs ever. The Warrior and I always replay the intro. Uh, so yeah, that was the best part. The intro, the iconic Warrior by Scandal, the Knuckle Knuckles is cameo in the beginning and his cameo at the end. That was the best part. The best part of this episode was those parts and when it was over. I could finally move over to episode five. Couldn't move over to episode five because this episode took. I couldn't even complete the season because this episode took so took so long. It centered around, like I said, it centered around Garrett meeting, confronting an old rival, confronting an old rival, it, confronting an old rival, and trial by combat. Something, um, trial by combat is something like that. When I want to see the much more exciting gun plot with them trying to capture Knuckles to capture his power. Episode five. Episode five is interesting. Um, Wade finally meets up with his father, with his father, who turns out to be the bad guy of uh, working, working with um, Gun is also uh, working with Gun, and I think it, oh yeah, is also Wade's bowling rival. As he um, agrees to work with Gun to help them to, to help them capture and turn over Knuckles in exchange for keeping this will somehow keep Wade. Out of the um, out of the um, out of the um tournament, Wade pretends to sell to sell his sister pretends to sell out his um family and sell up sell his family and Knuckles only to reveal that no and actually it actually lures Willoughby and Mason to Knuckles, but it turns out Knuckles was but it turns out Knuckles was listening the entire time listening the entire time and Knuckles. Knuckles uses uses a furry Knuckles costume as a distract as a distraction and ambushes both of them and a huge battle ensues where Knuckles finally defeats Willaby 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 and um, Mason 
Mason in dark fashion by trapping them in dimensions with a giant ring, with the with two giant rings, with two giant rings. I gotta read what happened to him later. We read even more what happened to him later when we ever see them again. But that's dark. As that was um dark. Yeah, like I said in part one, this is already the best in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise because we see a couple of firsts. Then, then um, then um, then um, the, then episode six, the si uh, episode six, the series concludes. The series concludes with the boss character. Then this plays this six episode plays like like a video game. Finally, the boss character, the boss character, um. Willoughby and Mason's hirers, he joins the fight and attacks and ambushes Knuckles with a um, giant bully, with a giant, um, oh yeah, with a giant mecha, with a giant mecha suit that takes way away from his bowling, that takes way away from his own um, bowling tournament, w way away from his own um, bowling tournament because he has to, he has to help save Knuckles from the um, giant robot. He does, it, oh yeah, he inspires Knuckles and Knuckles overpowers and brutally, not only destroys the robot, but murders the bot, murder straight up murders and kills the bot. This is the first time I, re, I think in a Sonic franchise where a heroic anthropomorphic human character, anthropomorphic animal character, killed brutally murdered a human, a human in the franchise. I don't think I've seen that in any Sonic franchise where a heroic anthropomorphic character has killed an innocent. Has killed, him, has killed a human. As he, this guy wasn't innocent. Has killed a human. Has killed a um, human. Like I said, dark. Earlier in the previous episode, Mason and Wilby got trapped in a dimension. Got trapped in a dimension of rings. And here, here the buyer, the buyer gets his robot. Gets his robot torn up and blown up. And, and gets his robot and himself torn up, blown up by um, Knuckles. So, um, yeah, what a phenomenal way. To um and this is already the best in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Like I said in part one, Shadow, I mean Sonic the Hedgehog three, has a lot of work to do. Topping Sonic the Awesome Sonic the Hedgehog two, the movie and this television series right here. So um yeah, this was Knuckles the Echidna. Knuckles um. Knuckles the Akin in this show and showing us with the Warrior song playing in the back, playing in the um, c playing in the credits. Yeah, Scarface's "Push It to the Limit" song also makes a debut in this television series. So um, yeah, this was the larger, more in-depth um, review and reaction. Nowhere near as bad as people said it was. Wish Sonic and Tails could have been any more. I wish you could have had. A lot of six, six episodes is good. I wish you could have had seven more for to make it a full thirteenth, make it a full season base, se season base. But um, yeah, yeah. But like I said in part one, Knuckles chaotic. The video game came half of it came to life. It's not full because he doesn't have his entire team. He's teamed up with this lame human character. He doesn't have his t entire team, but that game come to, came to life, just like the Sonic the Hedgehog games came to life in the previous two movies, especially the second one. So, um, yeah. This was, um, Knuckles, the television series. There will be larger post-episode review and reactions to talk in more in-depth talk, review and rant more about what happened in each, um, episode with each um episode but this is the uh, part one and part two narration and webcam real life superhero reviews you want to hear the rest of the music and see the rest of my mannerisms turn the video off right now and once again to see the part one narration the link will be in the description box below stay on the lookout for the other for the other reviews all right yeah.